massive rescue mission underway tonight off the coast of Florida to rescue dozens of stranded pilot whales. Mark Potter has a late report for us tonight from Everglades National Park. Our journey to find the stranded whales began in the backcountry of the Everglades National Park, where we sped through creeks and bays to get to the Gulf of Mexico. There, in an area known as Highland Beach, we came upon scientists and park officials tending to a pot of pilot whales, perilously close to shore. The whales were discovered by a fishing guide Tuesday afternoon, and scientists from NOAA arrived this morning to find 51 whales, six of them already dead, four others so stressed and dehydrated they had to be euthanized. Some of those animals might stay with their ill pod mates rather than swim out into deeper waters. All day long, veterinarians in boats have been surrounding the whales, trying to corral them and to keep them from swimming even closer to shore. Right now, the scientists are taking advantage of the high tide on this sandbar to try to move the whales off into deeper water before the tide turns and the whales are once again stranded. But a big problem, officials say, is that the whales now face a virtual obstacle course of sandbars stretching 20 miles toward the much deeper water where they are normally found. In recent years, there have been other whale strandings in Florida, including this one two years ago near Key West. 23 whales were stranded then, and most died. While rescuers say the prognosis for most of the whales now is not good because they're too dehydrated and weak to be saved, they hope at least some of them can eventually be guided back to open water. And now that night has fallen, the rescue workers have come back to the dock for safety reasons, but we're told they will be going back out tomorrow morning. Brian? Mark Potter in the Florida Everglades.